It's been more than a year since Huntsville's Joe Davis Stadium saw its last baseball game. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Martin. With empty seats and an empty dugout, many are wondering what will become of the stadium and if we'll ever have a home team again in the Rocket City. Way 31's Kat Reed joins us with some answers from the city about the future of the Joe. Kat? Alyssa, there's been a lot of debate over what should happen to the former home of the Huntsville Stars. Ideas ranging from simply knocking it down to using it as a concert space. Tonight, we're finding out a private developer has approached the city to turn the Joe into an indoor sports complex. A lot has changed at Joe Davis Stadium since the Huntsville Stars played their last game. Nowadays, it's looking less like a ballpark and more like a nature preserve. They're keeping the outside of it clean and just keeping it secure, but it, but the facility is not usable in its current state. But the weeds you see behind me and other signs of disrepair could soon be disappearing. The city is talking to a private developer about bringing sports back to the Joe. According to city administrator John Hamilton, a developer is working on plans to turn Joe Davis into an indoor sports complex. There certainly could bring us a proposal that would include using a portion or all of the existing structure, or it could also contemplate demolishing it. So that really depends on uh, what proposals are brought to us and what makes most sense for the community. The stadium update is just one piece of the city's master plan to upgrade John Hunt Park, adding more green space and improving sports facilities. The city is also not giving up hope that one day a new minor league baseball team will call Huntsville home. If there's a league out there, whether it's professional or otherwise, that's interested in bringing a team to Huntsville, we will always listen to them. And so they certainly would be welcome to bring us proposals. But uh, at this point, no one, no one has. And John Hamilton told Way 31 earlier this year that the renovations to John Hunt Park could take a decade. Alyssa.